Hey everyone, it's your girl, Cosmics Wonderland, and today we're going to be reading another scary story from the Yarn app. This one's called Truth or Dare. Based off just the picture alone from the story, I can tell it's Alice in Wonderland. She has a red pill and a blue pill instead of the left and the right side of the mushroom, of course. Anyways, sorry. I'm an Alice in Wonderland enthusiast. I freaking love Alice. So, saw it. Also saw it has a lot of views and thought, this will be interesting. So, grab a snack, pull up a chair, get cozy. Hopefully it's raining or it's nighttime. And let's go ahead and get on with it. Truth or dare? Who is this? Truth or dare? I think you have the wrong number. I think you should answer the question, Casey. OMG, Eric, stop it. You are such a jerk. Don't you want to play a game? I seriously don't have time for this. Nothing too afraid of, right, Casey? Just answer, truth or dare. Eric, I'm serious. This is not Eric. He forgot his phone in his brother's dorm and won't have it until tomorrow, remember? Casey? Oh yeah, then is this Justin? Not even close. Now I wanna play a game. How about you just leave me alone, truth or dare? Are you for real right now? Yes. What are we, 10? Are you scared? No, I'm busy. Just play and I'll leave you alone. I promise. Fine. Just one rule. I know how to play truth or dare, loser. This is truth or dare 2.0. Only one rule. You can't not tell the truth. Or not do the dare after you pick. Okay? I mean it. You have to do it. Why? What happens if I don't? Then you lose. Oh no, I lose that truth or dare. Hashtag epic fail. You don't want to lose. Trust me. Truth or dare? Truth. Are you home alone? You have to answer. Justin, this is not funny. Answer. Are you in your house alone? Stop trying to freak me out, Justin slash Eric. This is not Justin or Eric. Answer. Are you home alone? No, leave me alone. I'm with my parents. Okay, so it looks like a window. Nothing crazy there. I was wondering if she would be like in the window, so I zoomed in. I don't see anybody, but he's watching. Liar. Who are you looking for outside that window? WTF. Are you at my house? Who the hell is this? I told you not to lie, Casey. You lose. Two hours later. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. She's texting Becky. Maybe her friend. We'll see. I can't breathe right now. This is awful. Poor Casey. It's crazy that you found her. Oh, okay. This took a way sharper turn than I thought. Why were you at school so late? I hate that I found her. I had to stay late for practice. Oh yeah, that super secret captain's practice. That's some awful timing. 
I can't believe Casey is dead. I'm so sorry. I wish I could erase it from my brain. I keep seeing flashes of her body. Where exactly did you find her? In her car! Sorry, okay, I'm getting too exaggerated with this. <laughs> it's hard to, like, I want to take it serious so you guys can enjoy it, but I'm also, like, it's just a story, so I'm, like, sitting here just having fun with it. You have to remember, you guys aren't really here yet. You'll see the video later. I'm just in my room right now, so I'm having a little fun. Some accents and some enthusiasm. The theatrics. Anyways, back to the story. I was parked next to her in the senior parking lot. It looked like she had fallen asleep, so I banged on the window. At first I was laughing. <laughs> I thought it was so lame that she fell asleep in her car. Then I noticed blood on the side of her head and I freaked out. Why didn't you just open the car door? It was locked! I started to have a panic attack and called 911. I can't believe this. This kind of stuff only happens in movies. And now I'm paranoid. Why? There's a killer on the loose. What if they come back again? What if they come for me since I found her? And I have this weird feeling. It's almost like, like it was done by someone we know. OMG, what? You seriously think we might know the killer? I think so. That's the scariest part. It could have just been some random psycho. Maybe. But I saw something that was weird. When they took her body out of the car, I noticed her varsity letter was torn from her uniform. Why would a random killer take that? You're a detective now? That's crazy. Do you see this? This is what's crazy. The police found evidence that she was killed at her house, but her body was put in the car and brought to school after she was already dead. Just leave it alone, Becky. Why waste the effort in bringing her all the way to school? Unless the killer wanted her to be found that way. You're getting too deep into this. It just seems like this is someone getting back at her. She was the best on the team and the most popular in school. Kind of a target. And mean to everyone. Honestly, it could have been anyone. You need to stop freaking yourself out like this. I'm telling you. This wasn't random. Hmm. Well, maybe you aren't as dumb as I thought. If only you stayed out of it. What the F are you saying? But, looks like now you'll have to be next. You're freaking me out. Stop it. Did you notice that her phone was in her hand? Yeah, it was so weird the way she was holding it. Wait, but how did you know? I didn't tell you that. Almost as if she was texting the killer. Right up until the very end. Somewhat similar to tonight. Becky. Becky with the good hair. Hey. <laughs> oh shoot, I would be like, oh my god, who's behind me? Oh no. That was really intense. Let's watch it again. There's sound to it. Sorry, my bad. There was sound. Let's watch it again with sound. <laughs> okay. You're never as alone as you think you are. Truth or dare, Becky. You can't ignore me, Becky. Truth or dare. Truth or dare. Truth or dare. Truth or dare. Leave me alone. If you play, I'll leave you alone. 
I'm waiting. But I won't wait for long. Okay, this is getting good. You're sick. 911, what's your emergency? I already called the police. You and everybody else. The police have had a surge of prank calls since Casey died. You think they'll actually take you seriously? Typical high school girls. You're crazy. I'm not playing. You don't have a choice. Truth or dare. Come on, Becky. All this because you didn't make team captain for cheer? I won't tell anyone. Please, Lauren. No. Truth or dare. Please, Lauren. Just stop. I won't stop until you play. And then you'll go away? If you win. Fine. You want to play? Dare. Oh. Okay. You have to do the dare. Or you lose. Okay. I dare you to run to your car before I catch you. Stupid dare. I was all state in track. I know. That's what makes this fun. I'd start running if I were you. Wait, where's my car? You didn't think I was gonna make it that easy, did you? Where the hell is my car? Wrong question. You should be asking where I am. This isn't fair. I played your stupid game. This is over. It's over when I say it's over. This is truth or dare 2.0, Becky. Run to your car. Please, please leave me alone. Do you want to die, Becky? Do you want to die, Becky? Sorry. <laughs> no. You better run then. I can't. Then you lose. Wait, wait. What are you? Game over. So Becky's dead too. Holy cow. People are dying left and right. Who is the killer? Is it really Lauren or is Lauren working with somebody? Oh, plot twist. I don't know. You, don't, you never know with these. So an unknown number. Truth or dare. <laughs> You guys should keep track of how many times I say truth or dare during this video and leave that down in the comment section below. <laughs> Cause I'm sure I've said it a hundred times already. No way man, not funny Carlos. It's not Carlos, truth or dare. I know you have that burner phone your brother gave you. Come on dude, two girls are dead. That's not something to joke about. Everyone says that. What? That it's not funny. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's a game. Who's everyone? Are you going around trying to freak everyone out? So lame. Not everyone. Just Casey and Becky. Whatever, Carlos. I'm studying. And I'm not scared. You're also not studying. Unless eating popcorn and watching the three-way scene from wild things on repeat is studying. What's wrong, Blake? Cat got your tongue. Please hang up and try again. Carlos, you're such a loser. Are you spying on me? Stop calling me Carlos! Truth or dare? I'm not playing your stupid game, whoever you are. Then you lose. You play or you lose. Truth or dare. Ignoring me won't work, Blake. I wasn't ignoring you. I was calling the cops. Ooh. 
so you might want to get out of here before they cuff your dumb ass. Casey called the cops too. So did Becky. Calling the cops doesn't seem to work out that great. Listen. No, you listen. You wanted to spread lies about me. You wanted Paul to dump me and go out picking up skanks with you. Dumb skanks like Casey. So now you're going to play my game. Lauren? You think you're so cool. You think you're so tough, Blake. Let's see how tough you really are. Truth or dare. I told Paul you were a psycho. I'm not scared of you, you crazy bitch. Where are you? Lauren. I'm asking the questions. Truth or dare? I'm not playing. Then you lose. Too bad you forgot to pick up your EpiPen today. What? Feeling itchy? Is your throat closing up? You can hardly taste peanut powder if you mix it with enough butter. Game over, Blake. Blake's gone too. Bye, Blake. <laughs> Blake didn't make it very far. I am getting so okay. Woo, it's starting to warm up. I'm recording this like really early in the morning to beat the summer heat, but it's getting there, so I'll take the jacket off. I got my awesome boots on. If you can tell, like the black on black doesn't help, but I hope you guys like like my outfit for this story. Okay. Hi, Miss Cashman. Just wanted to see if Paul was with you. He's not answering my texts. Lauren, sweetie, we talked about this. You know Paul would prefer not to communicate with you. I know. I just thought with everything that's been going on, he might need someone to talk to. I heard about Carlos. I know, such a tragedy. And those poor girls. I can't imagine what their families are going through. It must be so hard. Feels like we need to stick together now more than ever. Well, I will tell Paul that you were looking for him. Will you? Yes, dear, I will. Promise? I'm not sure what you mean, but yes, I will tell him. It's just, I know you never really liked me dating Paul. I know you thought I was bad news. I don't know what you're talking about, sweetheart. I never said anything of the such. Come on, Gail. Let's stop pretending. Do you think I don't know that you encouraged Paul to dump me? How stupid do you think I am? Lauren, my son is his own man and he makes his own choices. Really? You never told him I gave you the heebie-jeebies. Or that there was something just off about that girl. Gail? I just want what's best for my son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go. Not so fast, hag. I'm not finished yet. Don't you know it's rude to leave a conversation before the other person is finished? I thought you had better manners than that, Gail. This conversation is over, young lady. Goodbye. Don't you young lady me, bitch. I'll decide when this conversation is over. Unless you want to end this conversation in a body bag. Mr. Cashman won't be home for another hour, so listen up. Where is Paul? Lauren, you need help. Now leave me alone. You might be able to tell your son what to do, but not me. If you don't tell me where he is, I'll come downstairs and rip that stupid kiss the cook apron right off of you. Gail? I just called Paul. He's rushing back from practice right now. He's calling the police. I'm sure they're on their way too, so I suggest you get out of my house. He's on his way right now? Yes! He is, you lunatic. Perfect. Let's play truth or dare. I've got your mom bound and gagged. 
still want to ignore my texts. So they're utilizing a little bit of that. <laughs> naughty naughty, some uh, 50 Shades of Grey shit going on in this story. No, I'm just kidding. Lauren, what are you doing? Truth or dare? No. This is not a game. If you hurt my mom, I'll kill you. I mean it. You don't call the shots, Paul. I call the shots. Truth or dare? You're sick. You should be locked up somewhere. That's my mom. Please, Lauren. Please don't hurt her. Why? Why shouldn't I hurt her? You had no problem hurting me. How was that not a sick thing to do? I'm sorry, Lauren. I really am. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's, it just didn't work out between us. Do people deserve to die because of that? Truth or dare? <laughs> Please. Play and I will leave you and your stupid mom alone. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Fine, I'll play, but promise me you won't hurt my mom. I'm the one you want, Lauren. Please tell me where you are and we can work this out. Nice try, Paul. How stupid do you think I am? Fine, I'll play your sick game. But if you hurt my mom, truth or dare? Truth. You have to answer. And you have to tell the truth. Okay. Do you still love me? No. Did you ever love me? I answered the first question, I'm done. Now where are you? Answer me. Did you ever love me? Liar! 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 Lauren! What's happening? Let my mom go! What are you doing? Paul, it's mom. She's gone. She just untied me and ran out. Oh, thank God. Where are you? Yeah, she just untied her and walked out. Nah, yeah, okay. Texting from Lauren's phone. I'm concerned that she's headed for you. I can handle her. Now where are you? Season two! Truth or dare? What? Connie says. Who is this? You don't remember me? Ouch. That hurts. OMG, no, I'm driving. I can't really see the number. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at putting people in my phone. Is this Tanner from the Freshman Mixer? Who is Tanner? Eek! Hassan? It's Hassan. I remember you had a Hollywood zip code. Don't read into that, Tanner. Forced me to put his number in. Don't read into that. Tanner forced me to put his number in. Hmm. I think he programmed himself as Hate. I swear I'm not into him. This isn't Hassan. Truth or dare, pick one. Joe? Get out of here, Joe. I told you we're seeing other people now. That's what college is for. See what's out there. Maybe you should get a life, Joe. Maybe you should answer the question and stop being such a hoe, Connie. Who is this? Joe? If you call me one more dude's name, you're gonna end up just like your friend Becky. Good. Now, truth or dare? Look, I don't know who you are, but that's not funny. Those kids from my high school are dead. 
it wasn't a joke, so cut it out. Does it seem like I'm joking with you? Truth or dare? I'm being serious. No, I'm being serious. Truth or dare? Lauren? How the hell? You're locked up. They stuck you in the loony bin. It's not Lauren. Lauren is hopped up on psych meds. She might never get out. She was a sweet girl. <laughs> that got taken advantage of and now she's a vegetable. So what do you want? Revenge? Yes. But why me? I never did anything to Lauren. Oh no. You didn't laugh when she got caught. You weren't glad they sent her away so you could hook up with Paul. You hussy. Now play. I don't want to. Play or die. No, I won't play your stupid game. You can't make me. Bye bye, Connie. Yeah, bye. Wait, what do you mean? You'll see. You should slow down, though. You never know when the brakes might go out on the car. What? Connie veers off the side of an overpass and crashes onto the road below. <gasps> hey, hottie. Wanna play a game? Well, hello. Hells yeah. What kind of game? Truth or dare? Are you the blonde from the pikey? The gymnast? Maybe. If you want to find out, you have to play with me. Yes, ma'am. I'd love to play with you. You seem like a lot of fun. Oh, I am fun. If you aren't too scared. Scared? Why would I be scared? I like to play games. Dangerous games. So, you want to play? Hmm. Ah, uh, come on. Don't be a pussy. You didn't seem scared last night. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm just trying to figure out how you got my digits. I don't remember giving them to you. You didn't. I have my ways, though. Sneaky. When I see something I want, I go after it. So, truth or dare? Okay, I'll bite. Truth. Did you really think you could spread lies about Lauren and get away with it? What's wrong, stud? Nothing to say to that? No smooth pickup lines? Who is this? I'm going to bash your face in. LOL. <laughs> Mikey? You dick. Not funny, bruh. It's not Mikey. He's next. Don't worry. What do you want? Lauren's a nutcase. She's locked away. I didn't have anything to do with that. You didn't spread any lies about her? You didn't tell the whole school that the two of you hooked up. That she was a slut who was banging all of Paul's friends? You didn't get Paul to dump her? You're fucking innocent? Look, it was just messing around, okay? Guy talk. I didn't know she was going to freak out and start killing people. Just leave me alone. This isn't my deal. You didn't answer my question. What? The game. You didn't answer the question. Did you think you could get away with it? Yeah. And I did, you psycho. I called the campus police. You better fucking run. Campus police? A person wearing a ghost mask jumps out of Baldino's closet and pushes him out his dorm room window. He falls eight stories to his death. Good. They can take care of the cleanup for me. Now, here's what happens next. Paul, it's happening again. She's back, Mom. Where are you? It's Lauren. I know it. She's coming for me. Or you. Or both of us. I know. I heard about Baldino and Connie. I'm so sorry, Paul. But you have to stay calm. Lauren is locked up. It can't be her. How do you know? What if she got out? What if she escaped? You're not safe, Mom. I'm coming home. 
No, you're not. You are not leaving school for this. Do you hear me? But mom, I'm, this is serious. Don't you but mom me. You worked too hard to get into that school. Your father and I are spending a fortune. I will not have you ruin your education over this. This is your future. If I accidentally fall out of my dorm room window or my brakes accidentally go out, I won't have a future. I'm going to contact her. What? How? The killer texted from two different numbers. I'll contact them. Maybe she'll answer one of them. How do you know that? The cops asked me if I recognized the numbers and I memorized them both. I can text and see if I get a response. No. I do not want you getting dragged into this. The police will handle it. Just be extra careful and ignore any unknown numbers. Paul, do you understand? I can't, Mom. I'm sorry. I have to do something. What? What are you doing? Don't you ignore me. Answer me. What are you doing? I'm going to see Lauren. I'm going to the hospital. Absolutely not. Paul, I forbid you. Do you hear me? Paul. Mom, this isn't going to just stop. The killer won't just go away. This is revenge or a copycat killer. I don't know what it is, but I have to find out. I'm not just going to sit around while everyone around me dies. Paul, you have nothing to do with this. That's not true. Lauren was a sweet girl who had a messed up home life. Her parents were awful and she just cracked. I never should have dumped her the way I did. I was just young and stupid. Maybe I can talk to her and find out what's going on. I don't know. Just trust me. I'll be there in 30 and I'll call you. I love you. Be careful, I love you too. Who are you? I know these texts are going through. I know you're not Lauren. What are those random numbers? I saw what you did to her, whoever you are. You can't pin this on her. The doctors put her on lithium. You're sick. She can't even put a sentence together. She's stuck in solitary, in a straitjacket. She told me that someone is telling the nurses lies about her and I believe her. You're the psycho. So who the hell are you and what do you want? Answer, do you think this is funny? Paul wraps a towel around himself and goes into the steam room. Killing people is a game to you. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Number blocked. So you're getting these, you coward. Who are you? Why don't you man up and come for me already? What do you want? You want to kill me? You want Lauren to suffer forever in that loony bin? Answer me. Where are you, you little shit? You think they're not going to find you? They will. You will make a mistake and they will find you. And when they do, I will be there to watch them lock you away. Unless I get you first. If I get to you first, you better pray that they catch me. Cause I'm going to make you pay. You'll wish you were in jail. You want to play games? Truth or dare, asshole? Number blocked. Paul hears a click at the steam room door. Temper, temper, Paul. You don't want to get so worked up in a hot steam room. You might hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? No, Paul. That's not how this works. I ask the questions. Truth or dare? No way. Here's the thing, Paul. You're locked in a steam room and I can let you out. Or not. So I guess it's up to you. What is? Your future or <laughs> lack thereof. You're crazy. Truth or dare. I can't breathe. It's only going to get worse, Paul. I think I'm hyperventilating. Let me out. You're wasting precious time, Paul. Truth or dare. Truth, truth. Do you remember me? Paul sees a shadow appear at the steam room door. He wipes away the steam and sees a face. Oh my god, Mark! 
Paul passes out. I'm so sorry to hear about Paul, Miss Cashman. I hope he's recovering. Thank you. He is stable right now, but it was really iffy there for a moment. Thank goodness. I was really worried about him. I'm sorry, do I know you? I don't recognize the number. Are you a friend of Paul's? Yes, I'm in his bio class. We're lab partners. We were working on our final project together. Oh, are you Jody? Yes, I know you probably don't want to talk about it, but I don't think what happened to Paul was an accident. I don't think the heat expanded the metal on the lock and caused it to snap shut. I know it wasn't an accident. This has happened before. I can't really discuss it with you, I'm sorry. You mean about Lauren? How do you know about that? Paul told me. We were really close and he told me all about what happened to him in high school. I know he went to visit her that night and, well, I was waiting for him. My dorm is right by the gym and I was waiting to talk to him because we sorta had a fight about it. You fought about Lauren? Yes, I didn't want him to go, and we had a big blowout about it. I said some things that I didn't mean, so I wanted to make up. Were you two dating or something? No, not exactly. I mean, honestly, Miss Cashman, I really like your son, and I was kind of hoping he felt the same. But regardless, he's a very dear friend to me, and I think he was putting himself in danger. I understand. I didn't want him to go either. Why don't you think it was an accident? Well, like I said, I waited for him and I saw him pull his car up and go into the gym. And then I saw this. Picture of a blurred figure, all in black, wearing a mask, walking into a building. Who's that? That's them. That's the killer. That's what I thought. I went down to the gym after and snuck into the boys' locker room. But it was too late. Paul was already out. That's when I called the medics and they got him out. You're the one that found him? Yes. Did you show the police? I was too scared to. So many weird things have been happening lately. I didn't want to draw attention to myself. Smart girl. You have to meet me. The cops are useless. We have to do this on our own. Can you do that? Can you meet me? Yes. Is this your cell? Yes. Okay, I'll add you to my phone. Where should we meet? I don't know where it's safe anymore. We can meet at the science lab. I'm on the Dean's list, so I have access whenever. That's perfect. How about 10 p.m. tonight? Great. 10 p.m. tonight? I'd be like, right now, let's go. Like, this is important. People are dying. No, I'm not going to wait till like, the dead of night. Fucking scary. Don't tell anyone. I'm not sure who we can trust. Of course. See you soon. Jody. It's Miss Cashman. I'm using my husband's phone because I think mine was hacked. Hi. Wow. How do you know? I kept hearing clicks when I was on it. I was getting weird hangups from numbers I don't know. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but right now I want to be safe. Sure. I'm in the lab like we planned. I left the door unlocked so you could get in. You said 10 p.m., right? I'm two minutes away. Oh, good. The lab is super creepy at night. I'll be right there. I don't know much about these killings, but it seems that the killer is obsessed with this child's game. Truth or dare? Do you know it? Sure, it's an old creepy game. You've never played it? I never went to camp. Seems like a dangerous game. It's pretty innocent, actually, depending on who you play with. <laughs> Truth, who's your crush? Dare, kiss a girl. It's mostly just silly. I see. Seems harmless, so... You want to play? I'm sorry. Truth or dare, Jody? Miss Cashman? I don't understand. For someone on the Dean's list, you sure are dumb. Truth or dare? Who is this? Oh, Jody, you poor sweet sucker. Did you really think Paul would fall for you? Paul? He's like a god at this school, and you're a nobody. A loser. A science dork with a big stupid crush, so sad. Why is the door locked? Let me out of here. What did you think was gonna happen, Jody? 
you and Paul's mom were going to crack the case and catch the killer, and Paul would just fall in love with you. After that... <laughs> God, you're pathetic. Just let me go, please. I won't say anything, I swear. You said yourself I'm a loser and nobody. I'll just keep quiet and go about my sorry little life, okay? No, it's not okay. Don't you get it? You have to play the game. That's what you get when you try to cross me. You'll have to pay. Now, truth or dare. I can't. I... Oh, so you forfeit. Interesting. What does that mean? Slide your phone under the door and I'll tell you. Why? Just do it. Jody sees two boots under the door. She slides her phone under and a hand picks it up. It means you should know better than to leave nitroglycerin by an open flame. It means you should be more careful when you work in the lab and always make sure your Bunsen burner is completely off. It means game over. One hour later. I'm here, Jody. I'm on the baseball field, like you said. I'll be right there. Thanks for meeting me here instead. I didn't I didn't know that Deeks was working late tonight. That's fine. Are you close? I don't like being out here so late at night. I'm five minutes away. I think I might have a better idea of who the killer is. What do you mean? Well, I found out that Lauren wasn't committed by the courts like everyone said. I'm pretty tech savvy, so I hacked her medical records, and it turns out her dad had her committed. Edwin? I thought he was out of the picture. Wasn't he in jail for a malpractice suit? I don't know. But on the records, she was committed by Mr. Starks, so I assume it was him. Wow. I'm not sure about what that means. Where are you? I'm here, where are you? Oh good. It's pretty scary out here. I'm standing right by a big net across from a machine of some kind. The batting practice area? Oh, sorry, I'm in the locker room. Be right there. So are you saying you think the killer is Lauren's dad? How is that possible? Well, it could maybe be a family member, someone looking for revenge. I know this sounds stupid, but I've seen a lot of horror films. And usually these copycat type of killers end up being someone looking for payback. Sweetheart, this is not a movie. It's real life, and we are in real danger. I'm sorry, are you here? How far away is this locker room? Two seconds. I'm glad you and I are in this together. It's been tough for me at this school. I get made fun of a lot, especially by the cool kids like Paul. Oh, I'm sure he was just joking around with you, dear. Aren't you two friends? Oh, yes. We're lab partners, even though I do most of the work and he focuses more on girls and baseball. Actually, sometimes I feel pretty invisible to him. I'm sure he doesn't mean anything by it. Oh, I see you right in front of the pitching machine. Great. Paul and I used to come out here and I would help him with his swing. The machine is on a timer, so he would bat and I would tape him and he could work on his form. <laughs> Can you just get over here? I'm not sure I like being exposed like this. Oh, Gail. If you only knew. Sorry? Knew what? What a lying, cheating, sack of shit your precious little boy really is. The pitching machine turns on and starts pelting Miss Cashman with fastballs. She is knocked out. This is it, finally! You're out, you're free, you can get your life back. I've been waiting for you, patiently setting it all up so when you got out you could finish this. It's teed up Perfectly. Paul's mom is barely conscious. She got pelted with baseballs. She was knocked out and I have her tied up somewhere. 
we can use her to lure Paul to us. And when we have them both together, we make them pay. Who is this? I don't do those things anymore. I'm all better. I'm fixed up. That wasn't me that did those things. It was my bad self. I'm a whole person now. I'm good. I'm a good girl. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? They must be punished. They hurt you, Lauren. No, I hurt them. I see that now. I wasn't right before, but I am now. The medicine helps me understand. I'm better this way. I'm normal now. No, I won't believe it. What have they done to you? You're not yourself. You don't know what you're saying. It's okay. I'll fix it. I'll bring you back. I'm already back. I was gone before, but I'm back in the real world now. Stop saying that. It's okay, Lauren. We can still finish this. We can still win the game. I just need you to meet me. I need you to see what I'm going to do to them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you'll remember. Then you'll snap out of it. I don't know what you mean. I get confused sometimes. It's the old me trying to come back. I can't. I have to stay focused on the good. I'm sorry. I don't know you. Lauren, I need you. I can help you come home. I was the one who helped you before when you were being crapped on by all those stupid people. When they made you feel like you were nothing. When they used you up and spit you out. When those mean girls made fun of you and hurt you. When those boys spread lies about you. When Paul broke your heart. All those people not caring about you, treating you like a plaything and then throwing you away. I... I don't know anything about that. We had a pact. We were a team and we will finish them. But I can't. Yes, you can. You are a fighter. You are the biggest bright star. You are the most prettiest of all the prettiest princesses in the whole white world. Mommy, it's me. I'm out. I know about your mom. Lauren, what did you do? I thought you were getting help. Where is she? Where is my mom? I don't know. I'm not sure. What do you mean? Look, if this is another one of your sick games, where is she? Where are you hiding her? Please, I can't, I can't, I can't think. It's hard for me to understand what is, what is real anymore. It's my mom. She's not right. She thinks you did this to me, that you wanted me to suffer. Is that true? Did you mean to hurt me, Paul? No, Lauren, I didn't know what I was doing. I was young and stupid. I'm sorry about everything. Just please tell me where you are. I don't want anyone else to die. I think I believe you. I think you are right. She's back at our high school in the wood shop. Your mom is tied up there. <laughs> She's waiting for you. She has a plan. She wants you both to die. Oh my God. What is the plan? Is this a trap? Are you lying to me? Yes. <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> what? Lauren, I need you to tell me the truth. I don't know what the truth is now. I'm all mixed up in my head. She said she was there. Um, that you should come. Or maybe she said I should come. I can't keep anything straight anymore. Help me. Please, somebody help me. Okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. I think I have an idea. Are you up to go into the wood shop and texting me when you get there? You can let me know if you really have my mom or not. Okay. I think I can do that. Wait. What? Five minutes later. I just got this. Pick a buzzsaw with the message. I've got everything ready, sweetheart. No! I'm going. I don't care if it is a trap. Paul. My mommy loves me. I think this is the final episode. Oh, and it starts with this. Okay, intense. <clears throat> I started without you. I'm going to take her apart one piece at a time. So, she's in pain. So she suffers as much as you've suffered. 
Did you get Paul to come? He can watch too. I'm doing a foot next. He is with me. We're driving to the wood shop now. Good girl, hurry. I don't want her to bleed out before you get here. Mom, I think I want you to stop. I think I was wrong about Paul and about everything. Hurting people is wrong, is bad. I'm confused. Sweetheart, do you trust me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. Then you should know that I only want what's best for you. You believe that, don't you? Yeah, I think so. It's just, I hear so many different things, voices, telling me to do one thing and then another. They don't always want the same thing. Sometimes they fight. I don't know who's right. I don't know who to listen to. Listen to me, honey. I'm your mother. I love you the most. No one in this world will ever love you as much as I do. How dare they do this to you? Who? Who did this? Mom? That's what she gets. They did this. Paul. Gail. Baldino. Jody. Becky. The school. All of them. Baldino? Becky? I remember them. Becky was mean to me. She made me cry. She laughed at me. Yes. Baldino laughed at me. He said bad things about me. Yes. Paul's car speeds down the highway towards the school. He laughed. They all laughed at me. That's right. I don't like being laughed at. I don't like being laughed at at all. No! No! They have to pay! <laughs> Lauren grabs the will from Paul and jerks it hard to the right. The car swerves off the road and crashes into a tree. Mom, do you have Paul? Bring him here and let's finish him once and for all. Lauren? Lauren, honey. Five minutes later. Lauren? I'm here, Mommy. Do you have Paul? Paul has been decapitated by a tree branch. No, Mommy. Paul lost his head. <laughs> Game over. All right, that is the end. That is the end of Truth or Dare. I really liked this one. This story was a lot of fun for me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fantabulous, and as always, I will stay fantabulous for you guys. See you in the next story. Bye.